One, two, one, two, three. One. Several years ago, I was given a presentation in Northeast Philly at an elementary school. I was there with my brass trio. We were playing a Beethoven trio, and a kid stopped us, and he said, why the hell should I care about Beethoven? And I didn't know what to tell him. I was kind of floored, but you know, he's right. <laughs> Why should he care about what we're doing? I had no compelling answer to give him. Now I wish I could go back and that kid asked the same question because I would tell him, why don't you come to West Philly with me? Hang out in my program for three hours a day, every day. Learn Beethoven and you'll see exactly why this stuff matters. You can't set your embouchure when you hear one, two, one, two, oops, you can't set on, on beat two, right before you play. These ensembles so set, are a uh, copy of what a community should be like. Where everyone comes into the ensemble to agree with one another, to work together, to struggle, to fight for something, you know, much larger than themselves. <laughs> look at the children that we serve, we think that they're the most beautiful kids ever. But we're also reminded that not everybody thinks these kids are so beautiful, and especially as they grow up. The dropout rates, the rates of these kids going into prisons and juvenile detention centers, the worst rates are seeing how many will become dependent on government subsidies. Housing vouchers, daycare vouchers, you know, welfare, food stamps, you know, between forty to fifty thousand dollars of aid that these kids could receive every year of their life for the rest of their life. And that's what we think that they are at risk for. And quite honestly, every child we feel is at risk of going down the wrong path.